Hi, Gerald. Hey, Fancy. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? Hi, Mark. Good. Thank you. That's a pleasure. Good to see you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our monthly database development questions. This is WLSDM. It's a native oriented web logic and so on a monitoring tool developed by Wolfrate. And we have uh, Fefsi Kokutata, who is their CTO, talking about it, showing it, demoing it. So uh, please welcome Fefsi. Thanks, Rainer. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Fevzi Korkutata. Uh, today, I'm going to do uh, a presentation about uh, WLSTM, which we call Smart Dashboard. It's a native Oracle WebLogic monitoring solution, and also it has its own uh, SOA and Oracle Service Bus module. Uh, today, uh, I will be do a presentation and also at the end we have some live uh, you know contents like doing some technical session and if if i have enough time also i'm going to uh, show you some live environment uh, for one of our clients uh, as I, as Rainer said, uh, my name is Fevzi Korkutata. I'm the CTO of Voltred and I'm an Oracle Ace since 2015 and I'm feeding Oracle community continuously. Also, I'm the founder of Oracle Developer Meetup Istanbul and we have more than uh, about, uh, maybe almost about uh, 2,000 people and member we have for Oracle Developer Meetup Istanbul. Uh, I'm presenting from Turkey, Istanbul, and uh, let's let's start. Uh, my agen agenda is uh, I will give a brief about Oracle WebLogic if who don't do not know much about Oracle WebLogic, and also uh, give an insight for the Oracle Fusion middleware solution and product family. And uh, this is our, today our topic is uh, WLSTM and. Uh, success story at Telefonica del Perro and uh, a live demonstration at uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure for WLSTM. And if I have time, I'll do some demonstrations uh, for a live environment at, at a utility company, which is EK Energy. So let's start. Uh, Oracle WebLogic Server, actually, uh, I'm, I'm working with uh, Oracle WebLogic since uh, version 7, actually. So uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's such a great solution for the Java Enterprise uh, edition. Uh, actually, it's uh, one of the most mature and advanced Java application server, enterprise application server, and it's the only uh, Jakarta Enterprise Edition uh, 8 and 11 and also Java Enterprise Edition uh, compatible application server in the market, actually. Uh, you have a core module when you have WebLogic server. Uh, it means you have the performance and data integrity and uh, upgrade options. So you don't need to take care about your uh, Java infrastructure. Uh, the whole scenario is on Oracle is on top of Oracle WebLogic server. Uh, it it offers a standard Java uh, runtime environment, and it's as I said, it's compatible with Jakarta EE eight and also Java eight eleven. Uh, so the management is really powerful. Uh, it offers console and WebLogic scripting tool and REST and WebLogic diagnostic framework. Uh, is available for managing your, your uh, Oracle WebLogic infrastructure. And availability, very, very important. Uh, you know, uh, if you want a zero downtime, you need uh, clusters. And with Oracle WebLogic, you're really able to set up a really mission-critical Java infrastructure by using Oracle WebLogic's availability features like clusters, uh, disaster recovery, migration, and zero downtime patch solutions. And modernization, you know, microservices, Kubernetes, and container infrastructures like Docker, Cryo, something, and uh, all container uh, infrastructure. Uh, also, Oracle WebLogic has its own uh, container image, and it's able to run uh, in Kubernetes infrastructure by using uh, WebLogic Kubernetes operator. 
and also whether it's whether it's on premise or uh, public cloud or private clouds uh, oracle weblogic server is at there so you have this means uh, if you write a java code and you want a consistent infrastructure then you need to have oracle weblogic on top of oracle weblogic server also uh, oracle company hosts uh, every mission critical applications on Oracle WebLogic, for example, for EBS or Oracle Sourcesuite, OSP, like Oracle Utilities, Oracle have lots of applications, uh, and all these applications are running on Oracle WebLogic and Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure. So this solution also is really important for uh, in-house uh, Oracle products. Uh, Oracle WebLogic server for OCI. Uh, if uh, you, it's for sure you can run uh, your Oracle WebLogic even on Microsoft Azure or any other uh, cloud provider, but it works a hundred percent compatible with OCI, which is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So lots of feature is available. Is one 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 of the most important part is if you have an Oracle license, you can bring your own license and you can run uh, your WebLogic infrastructure on uh, Oracle Cloud uh, without paying additional uh, license uh, costs. So it's 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 very great feature. And uh, even if you want a pr provision uh, and WebLogic domain, uh, with with a few clicks, you're able to create your uh, WebLogic domain uh, with OCI console or uh, OCI command line interface. Even uh, when you connect, uh, you can also create your own domain under uh, OKI, which is Oracle Kubernetes engine, and you can run a WebLogic domain under uh, Oracle Kubernetes engine. Actually. Uh, GRF or non-GRF, which is GRF means Java required files. So ADF supported or plain Oracle WebLogic domain is supported by OCI. And uh, EBS or GAD adware support also available. Uh, lots of Oracle Fusion middleware uh, solution are also available on OCI uh, with the infrastructure for uh, in infrastructure of Oracle WebLogic. It's fully compatible. Uh, you, you have the on-premise environment and this, this environment also available on OCI. Uh, Oracle WebLogic uh, and Oracle Coherence, uh, they're more uh, open source anymore. Maybe you know about uh, EE4J project. Oracle uh, gave all the Java EE codes to Eclipse Foundation. And that's how Jakarta EE projects uh, actually started by uh, Oracle and Eclipse Foundation. And also Oracle Coherence comes uh, with Oracle WebLogic. So when you install uh, Oracle WebLogic and Oracle Coherence is out of back solution. So uh, any more Oracle is more open source because you have uh, you are able to have the open source version of oracle coherence which which is an in-memory cache solution uh, for your uh, stateful uh, web applications or any other application uh, as you see the complete oracle weblogic server versions is available on the slide uh, the latest version is uh, 14c 14.1.1, and uh, actually we are waiting the version of 14.1 uh, and .2. Uh, in this year, uh, we are expecting the release of version uh, 14C.1 uh, and .2. Uh, this new pl platform is going to be certified with JDK uh, 17. So this will be uh, the only version which is uh, supporting JDA 17 uh, in the enterprise uh, Java, uh, So which is uh, very important. So 
we can say that uh, Oracle pushing Java and also uh, Oracle WebLogic is all the time compatible and trying to reach uh, JDK uh, releases. So after the JDK 17 support, I think it will be very important. But, uh, but these features um, uh, can be changed. It's not official. We are still waiting the latest uh, release, but uh, I'm for sure uh, it's going to uh, release soon. Uh, maybe uh, you can find uh, on internet, uh, Will Lyons, uh, which is the senior product manager of Oracle WebLogic, has uh, gave information about uh, the latest release of 14C, 14C and uh, I have some references uh, from his blog post. Also, I would like to thank him for these slides that he provided. Uh, yes, uh, as I said, you uh, WebLogic Server 14C, uh, which is the release two, and it is going to be available in this year, and which is uh, very important. The Fusion middleware support will come with this version. Uh, we already have uh, the version of 14.1 and 1. But in this version, it's only available for plain uh, Oracle WebLogic domains. So if you have uh, GRF, uh, which I, uh, I have said, said Java required file domain, which means Fusion middleware support will be available in this release. And it's going to be uh, compatible with JDK 11 and 17. And uh, with this release, uh, WebLogic remote console uh, security improvement or CI integrations, which is very important for the uh, hybrid uh, environments, uh, database integration, uh, integration with Helidon. Maybe you know about Helidon. Helidon is the open source microservice framework solution of Oracle, which is a uh, hundred percentage is open source. And uh, load balancing improvement, uh, which is very important. Uh, Nginx support is uh, uh, completely coming uh, by supporting uh, load, balance, uh, load balancer functionalities and also enhance Kubernetes and Verizano support. Verizano is a kind of uh, enterprise uh, managed Kubernetes uh, environment, uh, which is also open source and uh, developed by uh, Oracle. Uh, and also uh, Oracle coherence support for community edition features. As I said before, Oracle, more uh, open source uh, anymore, which we really like uh, this style. Okay, let's skip uh, to the WLSTM. Uh, actually, uh, WLSTM is a, uh, we call it smart dashboard, it is a WebLogic console extension and which enables uh, 360 hundred degree monitoring for a WebLogic domain just in minutes. We call it as native, uh, we call it as native uh, WebLogic monitoring solution because uh, when you install uh, WLSTM, uh, you're going to have a portlet uh, in WebLogic admin console because uh, it runs under admin console. Uh, Oracle WebLogic actually supports plugins, so it's it's kind of uh, the first and only uh, commercial plugin in the world, uh, and it it really completes Oracle WebLogic console uh, with its uh, functional uh, features. So uh, I'll give more information uh, about WLSTM. Uh, in this presentation. When you install WLSTM, you don't need to have additional physical servers because it runs on your current uh, machine, virtual machine. Uh, you don't need to additional database because it comes an out of box embedded database. And you don't need to care about additional CPU or memory. Uh, there is no overhead on it. And also you don't need to take care about uh, operational cost like uh, monitoring your monitoring uh, solution 
uh, it works just like a microservice and all the archive purge and any other uh, operational uh, operations is come uh, comes out of box actually so uh, it supports all oracle fusion middleware products uh, weblogic server fusion middleware like adf uh, soa suite bpm suite oracle service pass forms and reports ohs uh, like I, idm access manager oid uh, ov uh, business intelligence bi which is oracle bi uh, oracle e business suite and odi all these uh, oracle fusion middleware solutions uh, wlstm is able to monitor these solutions uh, it's one of the best Oracle Fusion layer monitoring infrastructure, and it offers uh, slow traces and profiling. The root cause uh, detection and troubleshooting is really easy. So uh, let's say you have uh, an uh, application. It's, it runs on uh, Oracle WebLogic, and it uses some outbound connections. Do, do, uh, do some outbound connections you're able to monitor your HTTP client outbound call response times so it's very important uh, maybe you have some integrations and you have uh, with outbound services and if they have a slow performance then your application slows down so you can detect it just in second by using WLSTM and also it's an operational tool you can transform any script to charts and then add your callback actions uh, which uh, enables you to, autom to automate uh, your WebLogic operations. The key features of uh, WLSTM, it's really easy. You can deploy just in minutes. Uh, so after the installation, uh, there will be a one-time wizard uh, for monitoring your domain infrastructure. It reads all your uh, living domain, uh, WebLogic domain, and offers a standard monitoring infrastructure for your uh, Java application server. You have there. There is a robust uh, alarm generation infrastructure, and all the configurations are uh, parametric. And you can customize your dashboard, and unlimited dashboard is available. You can monitor from everywhere, and it's the the user interface is totally uh, responsive. Uh, so when you uh, use Oracle WebLogic, uh, I think you know about, for example, OpenSocket current cut, but this information is volatile. So if you want the historic uh, data, uh, you need uh, a third-party solution. But when you extend through WLSTM, then uh, you can have the historic JMX and bean metric values by using uh, WLSTM and uh, HTML alerts and uh, team signature is available. You can create your custom HTML alerts and also unlimited dashboard is available. Uh, this is kind of a uh, unique solution because it knows uh, the operations, WebLogic operations. Be, uh, sometimes, okay, we know about Oracle WebLogic is mature and, uh, but, uh, WebLogic is the, the infrastructure layer. So it offers a platform for your Java codes. But if you have some problematic codes, let's say your uh, junior developer just deployed a, a, a buggy application uh, which has a weak performance. So in this case, uh, your end user are going to have uh, some problems. Uh, so that's why you need uh, some solutions to detect what causes uh, for the live problems uh, for the performance bottlenecks. In this case, uh, WLSM is designed just as uh, for uh, WebLogic infrastructure. It, uh, it is not, for example, compatible any other open source tool like uh, Apache Tomcat uh, or something like that. It, it's totally compatible with Oracle WebLogic. Uh, you can automate your Oracle Fusion middleware infrastructure and WebLogic operations. Uh, easy troubleshooting and fast root cause detection and offers a standard Oracle middleware management for the 
team members. With this way, you can align the know-how in between uh, your teams and team members. Uh, for example, you have a custom script like WebLogic scripting tool. Uh, in this case, by using uh, generic DevOps engine, you can transform your scripts uh, to web page by using uh, WLSTM console. And also slow trace and pro transaction uh, profiling is available. With these features, you can detect advanced backend, backend uh, monitoring uh, via uh, Oracle Enterprise Context ID, uh, like detecting slow JDBC SQL statement, detecting slow AGB business methods, and also, uh, let's say you have slow file and socket events, and also if you have a slow uh, third-party produce, producer service, you can detect uh, just in runtime with WLSTM. These features are available on only WLSTM. Uh, for example, uh, log monitoring, web-based file explore, explorer, out-of-box custom actions like Java Flight Recorder, which is the best, uh, you know, profiling, and it's open source by Oracle. Uh, Java Flight Recorder is very important. You can create your own uh, even custom action uh, by using WLSTM. Uh, MPSS CPU sampling, thread dump, and heap dump uh, custom actions are available uh, out of box when you install WLSTM. And Fusion middleware modules, uh, DevOps and bin registration, for example, you can transform any kind of script like SQL, Shell, or CMD uh, to Java, JMX, and beans. Uh, this is very important. Uh, you know, Oracle uh, for or, for management of Oracle WebLogic, uh, there is a framework uh, which is uh, WebLogic scripting tool. Uh, also, WebLogic scripting tool web console is available on WLSDM, and also decrypting encrypting WebLogic scripts is uh, very easy uh, for, for uh, security. Also, uh, okay, we 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 this uh, this is for uh, only one WebLogic domain. But if you have, uh, let's say, more than five WebLogic domain or more than 10 WebLogic domain, in this case, you need a central uh, solution. Uh, in this case, uh, we offer OPC. OPC is the uh, Fusion Middleware Operations Center uh, is the central operation and notification system which enables managing and monitoring and administrating Oracle Fusion middleware stacks easily. Uh, 30 plus type of notifications uh, are available on OPC console. We call it as uh, operation center for WebLogic and it, it supports more than uh, 30 type of notification like uh, health, metric, garbage collection, response time, logs, backends, uh, uh, Oracle service bus, so suites, response time, lots of notification available. So you can really determine what's happening uh, in your company uh, with this central solution. I'm not going to give uh, detail, just uh, I will pass these slides quick, but uh, OPC also uh, works every Oracle Fusion Middleware solutions centrally. Uh, these features only available on OPC, uh, like 30 plus type of WebLogic specified alarms, uh, central notification dashboard, and central Oracle WebLogic health and state dashboard. Let's say if you have a hundred domain or more than a hundred uh, JVM instance, then it's really hard to monitor all of them. So you need a central solution. Uh, in this case, OPC is your solution, but not only monitoring uh, for your domains, also you can manage uh, your complete Fusion middleware domain. For example, JVM argument manager available. You can bulk edit your WebLogic parameters by using bulk uh, JVM argument manager, uh, and also uh, domain setting manager. For example, uh, you want to change uh, a settings, uh, for example, 
in ten domains. So you need to repeat uh, this operation for each domain. But if you have OPC, you can do uh, from centrally and apply uh, to your all WebLogic domains or only selected domains. And also, uh, for example, you would like to change a database password uh, through data, data source. You need you need to do for each WebLogic domains. But if you have OPC, then you can do it centrally uh, just in seconds, actually. Okay. Uh, so these two products and Oracle WebLogic is really mature because, uh, okay, you have a mature uh, Java application servers, but uh, still, uh, as I said before, uh, Oracle WebLogic is the platform. So uh, Oracle WebLogic don't care about what is deployed uh, on your uh, container. It works just like uh, your, your application server. So if you write good codes or performant codes, then it runs good. But if you have problem, if your codes is problematic, then you need uh, a profiling solution. So uh, for Telefonica del Peru, uh, they, they reached us and they told, we have lots of Oracle service bus, maybe more than 35 domain. And uh, it's, it's really hard uh, to manage all of them or keep them up to date. So uh, they found our solution, uh, WLSDM and OPC. Maybe uh, more than uh, three years, they are using uh, the OPC product uh, by managing their complete Oracle WebLogic and Fusion middleware infrastructure with this solution. I'm going to show uh, how, uh, what we delivered to Telefonica and also what they achieved. Uh, what we delivered to Telefonica, actually, uh, there is a quick configuration wizard and a responsive UI uh, for, uh, for their WebLogic domains. Uh, anymore, they have the historic data and they have, they're able to get reports about your domains. For example, uh, a problem can occur uh, in the midnight, uh, so the operation teams uh, can be sleeping at that time. Uh, so when a problem occurs in the midnight, uh, when they come back and historic profiling is available at there, so uh, they are able to uh, get reports and analyze problem easily. Uh, monitoring of JMX objects and monitoring of application response times and monitoring of backend resources. Uh, we have delivered these features to Telefonica by WLSTM and OPC products. So they are able to monitor WebLogic logs before they don't uh, able to monitor logs and anymore, for example, an EVE application is deployed and they have some errors in the logs uh, and uh, email, uh, a fancy email, HTML email notification uh, receives uh, to their email inboxes and uh, even their mobile, they are able to detect uh, the problematic logs by following their, their notifications. And monitoring of uh, WebLogic JVM and profiling dumps and also uh, custom actions, uh, they have these functionalities anymore. And also, uh, thread dump analyzing is uh, is not that easy. Uh, in this case, you need uh, you know uh, some uh, special special uh, experience uh, for analyzing thread dump uh, Java thread dumps. Uh, for example, a fresh graduate may be unable to uh, analyze thread dumps, but uh, with the thread dump analyzer of uh, VLSDM, uh, it really facilitates how to analyze uh, a thread dump stack, uh, it's really easy. Uh, WebLogic scripting tool, web console, and scheduler module, they are using these features uh, and they really increased the quality of Oracle WebLogic domains that they are using. So what Telefonica achieved actually? Angel Moron is level two operation manager and 
uh, he was responsible all the infrastructure, but uh, after they they implemented the solution OPC at there, uh, if you check the uh, screen capture, uh, for example, you're able to monitor about a hundred weblogic domain. And if one of their states or health is uh, shut down or uh, health is not okay, uh, they are able to see uh, the central hash, uh, health dashboard. So it, it's really important uh, for their operations. So every domain is more visible and uh, they really uh, reduce the troubleshooting time uh, by turning, uh, increasing uh, the work productivity uh, with their team members. Uh, they they achieved uh, WebLogic domain consolidation, uh, like uh, deleting uh, unused uh, many servers, and because they they anymore have a more visible infrastructure, they have uh, consolidated their uh, alarm notifications, and they have an easy troubleshooting infrastructure, and fast root cause detection and. Uh, efficient uh, team communication while managing their Oracle WebLogic and Oracle Fusion middleware uh, infrastructure. And the result uh, for Telefonica, uh, the ultimate result was uh, very easy troubleshooting and uh, diagnosing uh, for the live production uh, issues. Uh, they are able to monitor hundreds of Oracle WebLogic domains uh, held in one page, and this feature only available on WLSTM. Uh, detection, production, and environment problems, root cause, uh, they, they're really detecting the root causes very fast, and uh, this is only available also for WLSTM because uh, it offers a standard uh, Oracle WebLogic GMX dashboard like OpenSocket, Current Cut, or Hogger Thread and Stock Threads, and these features only available on WSTM. Also, they automate some Oracle WebLogic uh, monitoring and management uh, with using WSTM DevOps and Win functionalities. Uh, for example, uh, they they automated uh, the the archiving of Oracle WebLogic logs. Uh, by using uh, custom actions of uh, WLSTM. And uh, hoggers and stacks are nightmares of very, uh, you know, uh, engineers. Uh, a WebLogic administrator, administrator needs to take care of hogger and uh, stock threads. And uh, with WLSTM, uh, they are able to identify the root causes of hoggers and stacks immediately actually. Uh, now uh, I would like to show you a demo. Uh, just just let me share my complete screen. Uh, Rainer, I would like to uh, start a live demo and it's uh, really uh, working on OCI and also uh, WLSTM is compatible uh, and available on Oracle Cloud Marketplace, and you can download from there. Uh, so I would like to share uh, a live demo. It's, it's not uh, going to be long, but I think uh, it will be good uh, for your understanding about the solution. Okay, uh, I have uh, an... WebLogic console. This WebLogic console is running on Oracle Cloud infrastructure, and I'm going to prove it. Uh, it's going to uh, work on uh, Oracle Cloud. So uh, in my environment, I have an admin server and a managed server. And when you install WLSTM, as I said to you before, a portlet will be available on the left. So that's why we call Oracle, uh, we call WLSTM as native Oracle WebLogic monitoring solution because of this portlet. When you click on Smart Dashboard Console, you're going to go uh, Health Dashboard. In this page, you're able to see the complete 
uh, health and states of all uh, your domain resources like servers, deployment, data sources, or JMS. All the health and state informations are available as consolidated in this dashboard, actually. So when you go to servers dashboard, uh, an out-of-box server dashboard is uh, available here, for example. Also, uh, I have another application just for test purposes. Uh, let's go to uh, Java server loader. We have another product, which is Java Server Loader. With this Java Server Loader, we create some loads uh, for uh, for bare metal servers, uh, like uh, creating benchmark for CPU, memory disk, and network, something like that. Just for test purposes, I'm going to do a live uh, CPU test. So let's go to JVM System Resources page. Okay, so I'm going to give about 10 thread uh, to start a CPU performance test. When I click on start, a test is uh, started uh, on my WebLogic domain. As you see, uh, the complete load is on managed server because both running on same uh, host and for example, uh, system CPU load is same, but JVM CPU load is a hundred percentage on managed servers. So we can say that the complete load is on uh, managed server one. Uh, I think uh, the test has finished. Let's go back to Java server loader. Uh, it's just finalizing the CPU test. So as you see, the, the test has just finished. So we have utilized the, the CPU of our virtual machine a hundred percentage. So while the test running, uh, we, uh, the managed server utilized the complete uh, and saturates uh, the virtual machine completely. And at the end, we have created a thread per second, uh, which is the result of the benchmark. So uh as a live uh, you know uh, dashboard we are able to monitor complete uh, jvm behavior on jvm system resource dashboard let's go to metric notification page you see i i have just received a notification system cpu lot and also there is available possible root causes. So uh, WebOjects server CPU is available when you click on it. You see it shows uh, the complete load is available on many server one. So we can say that admin server JVM is innocent. And uh, OK, uh, on my virtual machine, uh, managed server one is causing uh, the CPU high CPU consumption. Okay, that's great. Uh, I have found which JVM causing uh, the uh, the CPU consumption. Okay, let's click on. Uh, you see, there is another icon available. View top CPU consum. Also, top CPU consumer threads information is available e here. When you click on stack trace you have the complete Java stack trace for this thread. So COM, wall thread, JSL uh, is triggering Java lang, mat, uh, JDK out of box object uh, classes. So I have found the complete Java code, uh, which is CPU.java uh, on the line of 469. So this information is very important. When you send this information, for example, uh, JSL is the product of Voltred. When you found this information and when you send this information to your developer, it's 100 percentage that you have uh, found the exact root cause just in seconds. If you don't have 
such a solution, uh, I don't know, actually uh, finding uh, the root cause maybe uh, can took about uh, an hour maybe, but just in second, we have found the exact root cause. Okay, I have some another demonstration. This time I'm going to open, uh, I have an, hold on, I have another demo application. Let me check it out. I'm clicking on deployments. Okay, there is a Teco e-commerce application here. Let's click on testing. This is the address of it. Okay. Okay, this is just a demo application. You see, uh, it's just, uh, for example, uh, when you click on browse, uh, there is uh, some products available. Just click on add to cart. I'm adding this to cart. You see, every page are really responsive. Let's go to the browser again, click on equipment and add to cart. And it's really slow, right? Uh, sorry, it's it's really quick. And all the pages are responsive and responding very fast. But when I click on the proceed payment, it redirects me to login. Okay, I'm logging in. Okay, that's okay. Now I'm checking out. I'm at the checkout page. Let's click on checkout. Okay, when I click on checkout, it waits. Uh, the loading window is available and uh, let's say your end users are complaining about this button they're saying okay every page are very fast but when we click on when we click on uh, checkout it makes us wait so let's try again click on add to cart and uh, you see every page is really fast let's go to cart and click on checkout and it's waiting again. So check out button responding very slow and your end users are complaining about it. This is the end user case. Let's go back to WLSTM again. This time I'm going to close it. And I have another page is, which is backend generic. Let's go back to this page. You see, I have some JDBC statement execute, AGB business method, and socket read. Let's click on uh, the JDBC statement, uh, click on list and make it full screen. You see, this, for example, SQL statement is about millisecond, but this one is 15 seconds. Maybe that checkout triggers these sequels. Uh, you see the complete SQL is available here. Oracle Enterprise Context ID available here, which data source, which is OE data source, and the duration is about 15 seconds, which is really slow. Okay, very good. Uh, I am okay with that. So we, we, we determine uh, the, the slow SQL, but how do I know actually this SQL uh, is triggered from checkout? We have another page. Go to profiling and slow traces, okay? You see, I have, a, I have the complete scenario here. When you click on this and the complete uh, drill down is available here. So checkout is the end user uh, check out XHTML is the end user uh, web address. And this is my user. You see Fevzi Korkutata. And you see every information is available here. When you click on JDBC, the complete SQL is uh, here. And also this triggers a socket read. So remember, I told you uh, this uh, infrastructure this domain is running on OCI and it's connecting to Oracle Cloud autonomous database this is my host and this is my remote address so 
I'm let's let's think about like this. I'm not a developer and I did not develop the solution, for example, Petco. I'm I'm the web logic administrator with WLSTM. I know what's going on in my domain. Let's say uh, you're just joined uh, as fresh and with following this page, you, you found the complete scenario actually. This is very, very important and uh, root cause detection is really easy. That's why Oracle WebLogic is the world's uh, number one Java application server in the market, actually. If you want uh, uh, a mature and, uh, you know, a very powerful Java uh, Enterprise Edition application server, then you need to have Oracle WebLogic. Uh, by using uh, WebLogic, uh, you know, uh, frameworks, uh, interfaces, uh, we are able to monitor uh, complete uh, infrastructure of Oracle WebLogic about what's happening inside your WebLogic domain. Uh, I have another uh, demo, uh, Rainer. I'm going to stop my screen now. Now I'm going to do a VPN. Uh, hold on, please to a live environment to show you about what we achieved on tele, uh, in uh, Telefonica del Perro. So we have another customer uh, in, this case, in this screen. Uh, CK Energy is one of the biggest uh, energy utility company in Istanbul. They have about uh, 12 million uh, utility subscriber. So let's check their environment. So uh, we have, uh, you know, approved about their environment. So this is very unique infrastructure. They have about 102 WebLogic uh, domain, which is a massive infrastructure. And also they have about 317 managed server JVM. This is a massive infrastructure of uh, Java application server. When we click on dashboard all, okay, we have about 30 plus type of notification here, for example. When you click on notification timeline, all the notifications available here. So you can determine what, what's happening in between 100 uh, and uh, 12 or two WebLogic domain and uh, about 317 JVM, it's, it's really important. So when you click on content, you're going to have uh, a fancy HTML email like this, the complete JDBC statement also available here, for example. So this solution is uh, very, very important and it's doing well uh, on the, production environment. For example, I have six warning, uh, you know, uh, JVM. Uh, so if you don't have such solution, then it's really hard uh, to, to, to detect what's happening on your web domain part. And uh, these are, uh, as I said to you before, the solution is available on Oracle Cloud Marketplace. It's a hundred percent compatible with Oracle database through Oracle data source management. So uh, we have lots of references and uh, as an Oracle Ace, uh, we are feeding uh, Oracle solutions and we are trying to complete all Oracle solutions uh, with our knowledge. I hope you like the presentation. And for today, uh, I have finished my presentation. And actually, thank you for listening. Thank you, Fepsi. Great presentation. Thanks a lot. It's a great solution. And I'm sure you will get many more customers. And hopefully, some of the global leaders will get back to you for more information. Mar, do you have a question? You want to? Comment something? I just uh, wanted for Z to know that I was uh, paying attention and say thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Fancy. Thank you very much for, for presenting. This is really interesting. Thank you, Gerald.